Uh, and... There. Huh. I think as far as Tropical Beach Shelters goes, this one isn't too shabby. Well, from the opinion of one who's lived the majority of his life underwater. We don't build houses. Other than the palaces, we just live in giant corals on the ocean floor that it's provided for us. It may seem odd to a land walker, yes, but when you live underwater, gravity isn't an issue for traversing. So its natural design is no hindrance. So making something on land is, uh, well, much different. But, from what you showed me, I think this should suffice quite nicely. After we created the room you'd be sleeping in, I kinda took the liberty of taking that colorful uh, mesh fabric I had stowed away and draped it over the roof portion. So now, you'll have this nice protective drape around your bed. Along with the walls, it'll keep out the chill of the wind and all the creepy crawly things on land. Hm. <laughs> and, as an added plus, you'll still be able to see the night sky above us. <laughs> I tell you, one of the reasons I kept this place, and always sneak back on land to it, is to look at the night sky without the hindrance of the water to hide its true beauty. <laughs> there truly is nothing quite like the Arcanan night sky. Stars seem so close you can almost touch them. So bright. <sighs> and the beautiful moon <laughs> Almost seems happier these days, if that makes any sense. Oh, and if you walk the beach long enough at night, you may even find some glowing blue flowers. Moonbells. If you ever find any, bring them back to me. They're quite amazing. I can show you what they do. Ah, uh, but, um... With that... I think it's time we finished our labors for the evening. Soon that wonderful night sky I was telling you about will be above us. I might stay on shore just a tad longer to watch it this night. What's one night away when I'm not even needed? King Lucius had called a hiatus on operations since his youngest child went missing. I'd say out of grief, but... I don't think my king feels feelings of remorse. I don't know him to be a king of compassion. Only... ambition. Safe to say... I'd rather spend more time here than down there anyways. My king is... well... losing himself as the days go on. If he ever had himself to begin with. So, yes. I think I will stay upon shore this night. Well, uh... Enjoy the security of your new shelter. I, uh, I'll lay here at the edge of the beach for the remainder of the evening. Good night, Otherworlder. Hmm? 
Yes. It does get colder at night. That's the reason why we built you this shelter. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I promise, it can't be worse than underwater so far where the sun can't reach. I'm a half-blood. I'm... designed to withstand the cold. It's not a matter if I think I can. I know I can. Hmm. <laughs> well, what would you rather? Me stay here by the fire and lay here with you? It... it uh... Well, I guess the company would be nice. And... <laughs> what we made here for you is definitely more comfortable than the sand of the beach. Hmm. I guess I'd rather be warmer tonight anyways. Okay then. I'll lay here. With you. And watch the stars from inside this... Drape of fine netting. And if it's all the same to you... I'd, um... Much rather not be alone tonight. Here. Make some room for me, will you? <laughs> uh. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> I was right. A cushion scavenged from the ship of a pirate is much more comfortable than the sand that clings to you. This was, uh, a better decision, by far. So, tell me, what do you think of our night sky? Well, compared to yours. Are they similar? Different? Hmm? The moon is much larger and closer, while the stars vary in more colors. So what? Is your sky so bland? <laughs> hmm. Well, at least this world has that. I can't say much about anything else. <laughs> I've even started to map out some of them into shapes. The stars above always return the same, so I've named them, and even created stories with them. Like that one. Uh, if you look up and to your left, you'll see a, a greenish sort of star. Around it, all the other stars seem to be in a perfect circle. Each with its own different shape, size, color, and brightness. I call that... Creation. The green star represents the god who made us. All the half-bloods. All different. All unique. Beings of land, sea, and sky. Leo was his name, the divine of nature. <laughs> You'll hear me regard him in a better light than most of my half-blood brethren. They believe he left us here and let us be dominated by the human race. <laughs> but I think that's not what he did at all. My take on it is... Is that he made us, yes. The first half-bloods, I mean. And, well... He didn't have a place for us. Whether he thought we were failures or not. He's a god. He could have uncreated us just as easily, but he didn't. He made us. And here we are. And then he dropped us far away from the humans intentionally, hidden deep within the woods, the oceans, and the skies. 
but human expansion eventually found us all. And now our people are subjugated as a subhuman species, a great sin of existence to them. And that doesn't stop them from using us to make their lives more convenient. My brethren cry that Leo let this happen to us. But do we blame the gods for everything that happens here where they aren't? I don't remember the last time any gods aided the humans. In fact, look over there, to the right. See that line of stars that dances across the sky? It looks like a snake around a flower. It reminds me of a story that happened long ago. A human man challenged Leo to a test of his own domain. And when the human won, Leo cursed that man to live out the rest of his life as a snake. That is the true wrath of a god. A wrath we half-bloods have never felt. So, I don't despise the divines. I just don't understand them. Far be it from me to judge based on sight alone. If I did that, well, you would have drowned. I'm a half-blood. You're a human. Thus far in my history, we exist to hate each other. But I didn't judge you based on what I thought you were. I simply knew nothing of you in particular. And you were defenseless in danger, and about to die. And so, saving you gave me the time to learn. And so that's what I did. <laughs> and... I'm not disappointed. <sighs> mm. Oh, so, uh, thank you for entertaining my stories. Hmm, you were... Oh, you were right. This is way more comfortable. Hmm. Especially after a long day of work. It feels... <sighs> nice. <sighs> Good night, human.